If you're familiar with supplements, health drinks, or protein powders, chances are you've come across spirulina. Spirulina is a type of blue-green algae that has gained popularity as a nutritional powerhouse. So what if you took a tablespoon of spirulina every night before bed? Curious about the potential impact? Stay tuned and find out. But why the hype around spirulina? Well, it's been a health go-to for ages, trusted by those who prioritize their well-being. NASA even grew it in space for astronauts, recognizing its nutrient-packed profile. It's now hailed as a top-tier superfood globally. As an exclusive treat, we've saved additional information for the end of this video, something guaranteed to benefit your kidneys. So don't click away just yet. Stick around to the end to uncover more insights. This is your chance to supercharge your health journey, and hitting that like button ensures you stay tuned for a stream of captivating discoveries and health hacks. Recent research published in the Journal of Functional Foods in 2018 uncovered some fascinating insights, especially concerning kidney health. Before we delve into the study's findings, let's understand what spirulina is about and why it's getting so much attention. Spirulina is a tiny organism made of cyanobacteria, a type of single-cell microbe known as blue-green algae. Just like plants, Cyanobacteria can make energy from sunlight through a process called photosynthesis. A long time ago, the Aztecs used spirulina and has gained attention again when NASA thought about growing it in space for astronauts. Nowadays, people use it to get more nutrients and antioxidants into their bodies, which might help protect against diseases. Spirulina is tough. It can grow in places where other water creatures can't survive. People usually grow spirulina in artificial or natural lakes, harvest it, and then dry it out. Spirulina is super high in protein, even more than most veggies. It also has beta carotene, kind of like what makes carrots orange, different minerals, and something called gamma linolenic acid, which is an essential fatty acid our bodies need. Chlorophyll, another thing in spirulina, helps make your body less acidic, which is good for you especially if you have kidney issues. Now, about those nutrients. Spirulina's got plenty. It's got B-complex vitamins like B12, beta-carotene, which our bodies turn into vitamin A, vitamin E, manganese, zinc, copper, iron, selenium, and gamma-linolenic acid. Spirulina demonstrates a unique phenomenon called the synergy effect. This means that the various nutrients present in spirulina work together in a way that enhances their benefits, creating a more significant overall impact on health. Why is the synergy effect crucial? Well, imagine each nutrient in spirulina as a player on a sports team. Individually, they all have their skills and abilities, but when they work together as a team, they can achieve things that wouldn't be possible alone. Similarly, while each nutrient in spirulina has its nutritional value and therapeutic properties, its combined action magnifies its effectiveness. To fully take advantage of this synergy effect, it's essential to consume spirulina in its whole form rather than relying solely on isolated extracts or individual nutrients. Spirulina contains a mix of fat-soluble and water-soluble nutrients, each playing a specific role in the body. The aqueous, watery, cell interior of spirulina requires water-soluble nutrients like phycocyan, a blue pigment with antioxidant properties. On the other hand, the lipid, fat cell layers, especially in tissues like the brain, rely on fat-soluble nutrients in the body. Moreover, spirulina's combination of fat-soluble and water-soluble nutrients ensures comprehensive support for kidney function. The water-soluble antioxidants penetrate the aqueous environment of the kidneys, while fat-soluble nutrients, like beta-carotene, protect at the cellular level, including within kidney tissues. By consuming spirulina as a whole food, you're maximizing the synergy effect of its nutrients, which can be beneficial for kidney health. 
Spirulina contains numerous antioxidants, including phycocyanin, as mentioned earlier, which gives its blue-green color, unlike the green superfoods such as wheatgrass and chlorella, which get their green color from chlorophyll. Spirulina possesses both blue and green antioxidants. When we compare spirulina to chlorella, another health-promoting microalgae, spirulina boasts five times the antioxidant power and approximately 30% higher overall antioxidative activity. Additionally, under laboratory conditions, spirulina has demonstrated a more robust protective effect on human liver cells compared to chlorella. Now, to understand why this is important for kidney health, we need to talk about free radicals. Free radicals, those unstable oxygen molecules, are generated during normal bodily processes like metabolism and can also arise from exposure to environmental stressors, such as intense physical activity, pollution, chemicals in food, and various forms of radiation, including sunlight. Free radicals are troublemakers because they can cause tissue damage and contribute to inflammation, potentially leading to conditions like cancer. Free radicals can harm kidney tissues, causing oxidative stress. This leads to a situation where the balance between free radicals and antioxidants tilts in the favor of the harmful molecules. This oxidative stress is a significant factor in kidney-related problems. When the body's antioxidant defenses become overwhelmed by the onslaught of free radicals, vital organs like the liver and kidneys may struggle to function properly. This is where spirulina steps in. Spirulina is rich in antioxidants, including vitamins, minerals, and phytonutrients, which are swiftly delivered to areas of the body under siege from free radicals. Antioxidants, like the ones found in spirulina, help neutralize free radicals. They act as protective agents preventing or slowing down cell damage caused by oxidative stress. Phycocyanin, the blue-green pigment in spirulina, is one such antioxidant. This unique compound not only contributes to the distinct color of spirulina, but also collaborates with chlorophyll, another component in spirulina, to create a powerful antioxidant team. It has earned the title of Miracle Molecule from scientists due to its numerous health benefits. In addition to supporting healthy kidney function, phycocyanin has been proven to boost the immune system, protect brain tissue, promote detoxification of radioactive substances and metals in the body, and normalize the aging process of skin. Its diverse range of positive effects makes phycocyanin a truly remarkable contributor to overall health. In numerous international studies, Scientists have investigated the antioxidant properties of spirulina, particularly its effects on the liver and kidneys. In these studies, rats were exposed to known antioxidants, and researchers observed whether spirulina supplementation bolstered the ability of the liver and kidney cells to withstand oxidative stress. The findings demonstrated a positive connection between spirulina consumption and the improved function of liver and kidney cells. How do you know the right amount of spirulina to take? Finding the right dose of spirulina for your kidney health is crucial, but it doesn't have to be complicated. Think of it like finding the perfect balance in a recipe. You want just the right amount to get the best results. But for kidney health, starting with a teaspoon of spirulina is a good idea, especially since it's packed with protein. Typically, a low-protein diet is considered more beneficial for kidney health. However, taking a teaspoon, 3.3 grams, of spirulina per day won't significantly increase your protein intake. Research suggests that about 3 grams daily is great for adults looking to boost their overall health. And for the little ones, 1 to 2 grams, depending on their size, should do the trick. Clinical trials have demonstrated that a spirulina dosage of up to 10 grams per day is generally well tolerated without causing side effects. Some active individuals even prefer larger amounts. Spirulina is available in tablet or powder form, both equally beneficial. And don't stress about timing. You can take it with or without food, whenever fits your schedule best. Just be mindful that spirulina tends to give you a little energy boost, 
so for most people, it's a good idea to pop it at least four hours before bedtime. However, always listen to your body and consult your healthcare provider for personalized advice. On a lighter note, a quirky characteristic of spirulina is its ability to turn your mouth and urine green. Rest assured, this is perfectly normal and harmless. So if you notice this interesting side effect, there's no need for alarm. It's just spirulina doing its thing. As we mentioned earlier in this video, true to our promise, we're sharing something even more intriguing than spirulina. It's MCT oil. You might have encountered it in Bulletproof Coffee or Brain Octane, and it's creating a buzz as a home remedy for kidney issues, especially beneficial for weight loss and diabetes management. MCT oil is primarily derived from coconut oil and is a source of medium-chain triglycerides, MCTs. It is essential to understand what MCT oil is. It is a unique type of fat that your body quickly converts into energy, distinct from common dietary fats. Unlike regular fats, MCTs are unique because the body can quickly use them for energy. They're found in foods like coconut oil, and come in different types, such as caprylic and capric acids. Studies suggest MCT oil's ability to improve insulin sensitivity, a crucial factor in preventing and managing diabetes, a leading cause of kidney failure. Additionally, MCT oil promotes satiety and fat burning through its impact on metabolism and hormones, offering potential benefits in reducing the risk of kidney disease associated with obesity. Moreover, MCT oil contains antioxidants that combat inflammation, which contributes significantly to kidney damage. You might wonder, aren't MCT and coconut oils the same? While they share similarities, MCT oil is a more concentrated form, composed entirely of medium-chain triglycerides, whereas coconut oil contains 45-65% to 65 MCTs. Research indicates that coconut oil's benefits primarily stem from its MCT content. A standard serving of MCT oil is one tablespoon, 15 grams. Yet studies suggest health advantages, with doses as low as 5 to 10 grams daily. Starting with half tablespoon and gradually increasing can help avoid stomach upset. Managing kidney disease requires taking things slowly and carefully. Start by trying one new supplement at a time in small amounts, and pay attention to how your body reacts. If you're thinking about using spirulina as a supplement, make sure to talk to your doctor first. Always buy it from a trusted place to avoid any risks of contamination. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more health tips. Share this video with others, because looking after your health is something you do for life.